Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Nick's Riffs. My name is Nick Becker. I am from Wisconsin. Today I'm joined by Luke Spatton, a really good friend um, and a great drummer and a good backup singer also. We've, we've, uh, we have a lot of mileage, musical mileage under our belts, and we've also attended some shows together. Yeah. Um, Paul McCartney at Summerfest. That was a fantastic show. Oh, yeah. Um, and also um, ELO in Chicago. That was also outstanding. Okay. Luke also has a extensive knowledge of the arrangements of songs um, and of bands. Do you have anything else you want to offer? I, I just love listening to the different parts and pieces of the music. Um, and as far as you know, musical knowledge, I'm one of those guys who reads the CD booklets. And I, I'll have to say, I always would tease Nick about him being the the world's most anonymous lead guitar player, but I, I think really he's the world's most humble lead guitar player. He's not out there, you know, just, you know, showing off. He is very businesslike and very skilled. Thank you. Even, even better friend. And yeah, thanks. so So the riff today is from Joe Walsh, a song called Rocky Mountain Way. So Joe Walsh started out in the James Gang, which was a, a power trio, I believe. Okay. As far as what I've read, they played a lot of Cream songs, um, and then they were great. And then he joined the Eagles, and I think he really changed the Eagles' sound, don't you think? Yeah, I do. Yeah, between him and Don Felder, they, yes. they really gave him an edge. Yes, yes. Um, and then, obviously, he's done a lot of solo work. He's a really interesting guy. He's a fantastic musician. Not a shredder, but just really like a real bluesy player. Um, the thing I remember as a kid, I don't know what grade I was in. It was before high school. He guest DJed at one of the local stations. Um, it might have been QFM or ZMF or LPX. I'm not sure, but it was it was just really a hoot. He's also ran for president uh, a number of times. Yeah, probably more than any other living human beings. I think his platform was something ridiculous like free gas or something which would be nice right now oh but. yeah <laughs> so that's it so here it is For joining us i really appreciate you watching these little snippets of my favorite riffs i also want to thank luke for joining me well thank you and again thank you for inviting me uh this is this has been a lot of fun the, the other thing i mentioned about joe walsh which which just came to my mind he is a very big advocate for our veterans yes and he he uh organized um, vets aid concerts um, as far as i remember i think his dad was in world war ii yeah but sadly he didn't make it home so i think that had, that had quite an impact on him yeah. all right thank you luke um so everybody have a good week and be nice to each other and nick out <laughs>